you're here with uh, the new WBU Cruiserweight champ, Blake McKiernan. Uh, how'd you feel here? Go, going back, I didn't talk to you yesterday, but going back to when you <coughs> first heard you were fighting for the bout, how much more did the uh, training pick up, the intensity? To be honest, it didn't pick up at all. I go into every fight training as hard as I can, pushing 110%. And this fight, it was just extra driving fuel but I still had the high intensity in my training. It just, uh, I just try to remain calm. It was a belt on the line, my biggest fight yet, my toughest opponent yet, you know, and uh, big shout out to Daniel Aaron Bull. I appreciate it. Before the fight, man, I have my mind focused on this stuff. I'm back overseas, and I just, it's a light switch. I'm looking at my opponent as if he's Al Qaeda, man. Like, I'm just coming out there as if he's a terrorist, you know, and that's how my mind is. But afterwards, it's all love. I gave my opponent a hug and a handshake. I appreciate him. And uh, at the end of the day, man, I'm just, I'm very thankful for media companies as yourself, all my fans, my friends, my family, my sponsors. I just, I'm, I'm truly grateful and appreciative of everybody's continued love and support. And, uh, yeah. yeah, I made the this comment. This is the very first title, yeah. but it isn't going to be the last. We're just barely scratching the yep. surface, and uh, you know, on to the next one, baby. I made the comment that you were like transforming into the beast uh, in your time in there, um, um, and then sort of, uh, you know, I can relate to the, you know, certain times when you zone out and you become yep. back in combat. Um, how, how satisfied are you that you've been able to control your career and kind of not be at the mercy of the managers and the promoters despite, I mean, we talked before uh, sure. off, off record about what, what other people... The thing people is, man, is I manage myself, I promote myself, I advertise, I market myself. And at the end of the day, I do have a team behind me, but it's mostly for training when it comes to the PR and things such as that. I do so much on myself. I have people that have helped me network to get into the TV and radio stations, which I'm thankful for. They're on the team. But, man, look, there's nobody out here in this sport that promotes themselves the way I do. I'm not trying to discredit anybody or take credit away from anybody that's out there trying to, you know, go after reaching the top, but I've yet to see anybody that promotes the markets to themselves the way that I do, and at the end of the day, I'm just chasing after success like everybody else is, but I'm just so hungry, man. Every single day and every single fight, this dream becomes more of a reality every single day. And this right here just goes to show if you believe in yourself, anything is yeah. possible. And you got a, you got a load of fans, uh, and you also have a lot of uh, people critical about you, a lot of haters, especially even in your own hometown. What does the belt the day, now though, say? Man, if you don't have haters, haters. haters, if you don't have haters, you're not doing something <laughs> right. You know, anybody that's striving towards greatness yeah. and doing something that has never seen or been done before, they're going to get haters because people, a lot of people in life, only want to see you do well. But just as long as you're not doing better than them. But you know what? Forget that. At the end of the day, I wish everybody, my fans, my haters, whatever. I wish everybody much success. I want to see everybody succeed in life. That's just the mindset. You think that the belt now uh, helps help shut them up too? Uh, maybe. I think the knockout helps shut people up. You know, a lot of people don't know. Last year, I, I sustained two injuries that would have ruined and destroyed most people in most people's careers. I had torn both of my biceps. Went into the gym countless times, crying pushing through the pain, and you know what? I pushed through adversity and all the obstacles and I made it back. And this just goes to show that every single fight I'm getting stronger and stronger, better, I'm adapting. And uh, you know, the first two rounds I was just trying to fill out my opponent, wanting him to get used to me going downstairs. That way when I went up top, he wasn't expecting it. And we threw uh, four straight punches at him, came over with the overhand right left hook, hurt him, and I just jumped on him and stayed on him the whole time. He tried to hold me, push him off, and just went back to work. All right, any closing thoughts, shout outs you got to say? Again, thank you to everybody that continues to support me, even the people that don't support me. You guys are still buying tickets, so I still love you. <laughs> All right.